You ready for this? Of course I'm ready. Nice and easy. Textbook color. What's the play? Vote for choices by moving your pointer inside the box. It doesn't feel right. Let's scope it out. Stealth mode. See you in there. Use your pointer to hit the target before the timer runs out. Don't shoot! Hey! Don't test my aim, fucker! I am not gonna hurt her! Please help me, please get me out of here. Hey. Hey, hey. Easy. Easy now. Let's just take this nice and slow. It's not worth it. It's over. Trapper came to a dramatic end tonight as police from the 3rd Precinct arrested their primary suspect, Jonathan Finn. Finn is wanted in connection with a string of grisly murders that has gripped the city and claimed the lives of first response police officers. More on this story as it develops. Ladies and gentlemen, the accused Jonathan Finn is guilty. Of that there is no doubt. Your job is simply to determine how he is punished. This man, the so-called trapper killer, has terrorized our community with his brutal murder spree. Booby trapping his victims so our brave first responders became victims themselves. These innocent people were targeted for no other reason than to play out Jonathan Finn's sick game. Jonathan Finn has confessed 
to every single one of these crimes. I ask that the court consider Jonathan Finn's voluntary confession of his crimes. He has spared the victim's families a prolonged trial and in doing so has demonstrated a glimmer of remorse. Therefore, it is my recommendation that Jonathan Finn be spared the death penalty and instead sentenced to life in prison with no possibility of parole. Thank you. Jonathan Finn, you have committed crimes of such a depraved nature that this court has no alternative but to sentence you to death by lethal injection. This court is adjourned. Tap the logbook button on your app to read plot updates, view character biographies, and check the major ripple events affecting your story. I am Ray Weaver, and this is The Crawl. Let's kick it off tonight with our very own homegrown villain, Johnny Finn, The Trapper. Sucker's been on death row for five whole years. Mr. Trapper's only got 48 hours left on our big blue marble, so I thought, hey, did you know one of the victims? Phones are open. Call the one, you're on. Hey, so, well, yeah, man, I mean, in my point of view, like, they can't fry this son of a bitch hard enough, you know? So he got messed up as a kid. That's no excuse to take it out on our finest boys in blue. I hear you, but it ain't like our cops got the finest reputation, you know? Look at Marnie for one. Promotion to homicide, metal, the works. This gal's on top of the world, and guess what? Turns out she's dirtier than the rest of us down here in the mud. Mishandling evidence, improper conduct, who knows what else? To him. Guess you never know who's one of the good ones. Good morning, everyone. Caught another pair of John Doe's this weekend. We're quickly racking up red names on this board, and I gotta tell you, unsolved cases don't exactly uphold the reputation we've built here at this precinct. Just put Marty the Magician on the case. I hear she's got a knack for making things disappear. Son of a bitch. Detective Calvary? I pretend you didn't just say that. You're dismissed. Ignore him. Calvary? Everyone knows he only reported you because you're the biggest target. Glad to know my accomplishments have earned me something. You doing okay? No. No, not really. I feel like it's some big cosmic joke that Dick has my future in his sweaty little hands. I know it feels like that, but they got nothing. So just lay low, keep a wide berth of Calvary, it'll blow over. Gee, thanks, Mom. Detective Marnie, can we have a word in my office? Look, Marnie, I'm not supposed to comment on an ongoing internal affairs investigation, but if it starts affecting my best detective... I'm sorry, sir. Hey, don't apologize. You're a good cop. I have no doubt you didn't do anything to compromise the crime scene intentionally. The facts will speak for themselves. Thank you for believing in me, sir. You know, it sometimes feels like we don't have a choice in these things, but you do. You got me? Yes, of course. Mm, I want to believe that. But I know the trap was set for execution in 48 hours. It's a heavy load. Knowing you sent someone to death row, I don't want you to be distracted. Finn's execution can't come soon enough. A whole lot of folks agree. I know I do. I'm gonna guess none of those folks are looking forward to a good night's sleep as much as I am. Hmm? 
the fact that he's still breathing keeps me up at night. Got your message. I'm heading to see your client now. Sorry I couldn't make it back to town. I'm not crazy about meeting Finn without his attorney present. I know. Thank you for talking to him so quickly. Well, he doesn't have much time left, does he? No, he doesn't. You want to give me a little preview? He'd be kind of a tough nut to crack. Uh, be strategic. Great. Any tips? You need to get him to talk about Adam Jones. Who's Adam Jones? Better you hear it from him. You got a plan? I know how to get what I need. Call you after. Your attorney says you've got something you want to share with me? You've got five minutes. Piss around and I'm out of here. Miss Graves, I did not kill anybody. I used to blame God for what happened. At Las Palmas? The orphanage? We were just kids. We trusted them. But I've forgiven them now. God teaches us to forgive. You can't forgive your abusers once you've put them in the ground. Forgiveness doesn't work like that. I didn't kill anyone! Finn, calm down. Calm? I'm about to fucking die! And nobody will know the truth. What do you mean? What truth? I'm gonna die a liar. A dirty, sinning liar. Truth about what? The confession, the murders, everything! Oh, so now you didn't kill them? The chaplain, the orderly? Then who did? Adam Jones? Adam was my friend at the orphanage. Things we'd been through together, who could blame him for killing them? I'm listening, but you have to give me more to go on. Adam and I, we've seen some shit together. Makes you close. Adam escaped, and I found drugs. I was high from the moment I got out of there. And a couple of years later, a couple of centuries, hell if I know, Adam tracks me down online. And he keeps writing me and writing me and bringing up all that old shit from the orphanage. He says he knows exactly how to make him pay. So we made an arrangement. I rat myself out, I take the heat off him, spend a couple of months in the clink, and then wham! Trapper strikes again. Can't be me, because I'm in here. Makes sense, right? Pretty convenient. Convenient? Convenient is Father Raminsky running an orphanage. Fox in a hen house. You have no idea what it was like in there. The playroom. Well, that's what he called it, but I think he was the only one who was having any fun in there. Cops never found it? No. Nope. Well, you can go see for yourself. Not even sure if the orphanage is still standing. So where is he? Adam. Now? No idea. How can we find him? Gotta start someplace. I got a place. Where? It's not, uh... It's better if I draw you a map. Finn, stay back. I just want to talk. To shoot, move your pointer onto the target. Think before you shoot. You do not have to open fire. How'd it go? 
How do you think? I got a report back on Adam Jones. He was at Las Palmas same time as my client, but he died in the same fire that closed it for good. Lana, your client just tried to assault me, okay? He's dangerous. If you're looking to get him out of here, it's not gonna happen. Ever. Jesus. I'm sorry. Are you okay? Yeah. Look, that's not what I'm after. Then why bring me out here? If you tell the judge about Adam Jones, maybe he'll grant Finn a temporary release and help the cops track down Jones. Lana, it's too late. It could lead to an appeal. All we're doing is delaying the inevitable. Adam Jones is reasonable doubt, Felicity. I never wanted the death sentence, but I just don't think this is enough to stop it from happening. Finn is not a good man, but he is not the trapper. And if he dies, the trapper is still out there. Yeah. You're right. Let's take it to Judge Vanstone, see what happens. Thank you, Felicity. Don't thank me yet. Thank you so much for seeing me so quickly. Miss Petty already filled me in on this whole Adam Jones business. Yes, sir. Uh, I just spoke with Mr. Finn. Now, in my experience, you light a candle under a man's ass, you can fly a balloon out of his mouth. Sir? Are you buying his story? The timing is certainly convenient, but I think he's telling the truth. Or at least some version of it. So far, it adds up. Has anyone spoken to Jones? He's been presumed dead for years. Well, that's quite a stretch, don't you think? Well, even if Jones exists, how can you be sure Finn can track him down? I'm, I'm not sure what the truth is, but I know it's out there and we need time to find it. <laughs> Apparently, you need to release a convicted serial killer to find it. Just long enough to lead the police to Adam Jones. You're full of surprises, Miss Graves. Well, if you were in my position, what would you do? I think that he can help us. If you grant Finn a single day release under armed guard, we may save an innocent man from wrongful execution. I see. All right, Miss Graves. I'm going to grant Jonathan Finn a temporary release into police custody, but only for three hours, no more. Thank you. Hey, Lana, you're not gonna believe this. He actually went for it? Surprise the heck out of me. Wow. <laughs> Nice work, Felicity. Don't call me that. Um, I'm gonna head over to Homicide and let him know. Good call. And Felicity, thank you. Don't thank me yet. Outrageous. Case against Finn was air goddamn tight. Nailed him with a hostage, for Christ's sake. Had to be one hell of a tale for you to go and spin the judge's head around. I'm sorry to spring this on you. We all want the same thing. A man is about to be put to death, and we need to make sure he deserves it. Oh, Jonathan Finn deserves it. Of that, I am sure. Who exactly was Adam Jones? Did he come up at all during the investigation? Uh-huh. There was an Adam Jones at the orphanage. But you know what? Sorry fucker was killed in the fire that shut the place down. So the story kind of ends there. Finn's got impeccable timing. You don't think he's full of it? I think... I think there's something there. Judge thinks so too. He's granting a temporary release into police custody to help find Adam Jones. Finn tells me Rominski had a secret room at the orphanage. Called it the playroom. It's where he held his extracurricular activities. Does that sound familiar? No, I'd remember something like that. That didn't come out in the report. I was wondering, uh, Mr. Hillary, so when you analyzed the bodies of the Trapper's victims, did you find anything that might suggest there could be another suspect? Gosh, that was five years ago. I, I don't think so. So no reason to suspect anyone but Finn? I do recall only you know, uh, submitting a partial analysis of the evidence because Mr. Finn confessed, so it seemed open and shut. So there was more evidence left to analyze? Well, yeah, trace signatures. 
Do you have access to all that data? Now just hold on a goddamn second. How can you even entertain the idea of letting this scumbag out of his cell? Finn had motive. He went through hell at Las Palmas. He hated the police. We even found his hair at another crime scene. The RV park, right? That was the social worker? And, uh, Detective Marnie, would you mind walking me through that night again? I'll walk you through it in two words. Missed opportunity. Could have had Finn in handcuffs right then and there. I think I'd like to hear from Detective Marnie, if you don't mind. Uh, sure. Catherine Hope was a social worker at Las Palmas Orphanage. We didn't know Finn had her. We got a 10-8 at Hog Haven Trailer Park out by the highway. A break-in in progress. I was closest to the scene, so I went solo. Should have been a piece of cake, but... That night, everyone was on pins and needles because the trapper was raising Cain. And any one of us could have been next. Search for the clue shown at the top of the screen. Use your pointer to highlight the clues before the timer runs out. Some of these clues could help you in the future, so try to find them all. Okay, okay, okay. Just keep quiet. Who did this to you? I... I was in the bar. I... I don't know. I woke up here. Oh, God. Please, help me. Please. What's happening? Wasn't the kind of thing I'm eager to repeat. Finn must have seen you coming. Cut out before finishing the job. Yeah, split so quick he left his gear behind. How did Finn get away? I tried to lock down the perimeter, but Finn was long gone by the time backup arrived. So how did you link Finn to the scene? I discovered that Mr. Finn had left a hair at the scene. 
We ran the DNA through our criminal database, and he came up as the match. He was already in the system? Finn had been in and out of the station so many times, he practically had a door with his name on it. When we got the tip uh, that he'd been spotted at a squat, we just happened to be driving by. Shit just seems to fall on your lap, detective. At least I caught him, dick. Uh-oh. Mama Bear's got a temper. Watch out. Okay, okay, let's ease up on the pissing contest, all right? Let's at least try to pretend to work together. The Trapper case shook everyone up. I think we've poured enough salt in all our own wounds for one night. Sergeant. I think that about covers it. Is there anything else we can help you with? Do you have Adam Jones's forensics records on file? Well, not from his death. Were there samples taken when he was placed in the orphanage? Yes, most likely. Would it be possible to pull those records and run them against evidence found at the Trapper's crime scene? Are you shitting me? You're wasting the time of this entire division, you understand? I got a better idea. We let that psycho die on the table. Calvary, stop. We'll have Mr. Hillary look into it. Let's know if we find anything. Thank you. Hey, Graves. Yeah? I just wanted to say that Calvary's a dick. Yeah. Don't worry about it. You were really helpful. Oh, hey, what are you doing tonight? I... what? I've got a huge stack of files at my apartment. Not gonna be able to get through it on my own. Uh... you know, I think I'll take a pass. We'll, uh, we'll let you know if anything comes up. Fair enough. Have a good one. Huh. A rat trap. Target number one, Rupert Walsh. Local undertaker, drunk, no apparent connection to Las Palmas Orphanage. After the murder, the trapper rigged a shotgun to the motel door and the first responding officer was killed. Second target, Frederick LeMay. Orderly at Las Palmas, drug charges, assaults, but no convictions. Trapper left his body in a pitch black room and filled the light fixture with C4. First responding officer flipped the switch and sayonara. Third target, Father Rominski. The trapper had sewn explosives inside his body wired to blow if he moved a muscle. Left him sitting in a prayer position and he was forced to confess his sins, namely the abuse he and his cronies conducted at the orphanage. The first responder was, huh, it was Sergeant Teller. A theory. While the first target had no apparent connection to Las Palmas, all the responding officers were from the third precinct, including Detective Marnie. Were the initial victims just a smokescreen? And the real targets, the third precinct police? Why would he target them? Contacts. Who would you like to call? Becky Marnie. Calling Becky Marnie. Hi, Detective Marnie. This is Felicity Graves. Hi. Hi, I'm so sorry for calling so late, but I've just been going over the case files and... Do you mind if I run a theory by you? Sure, hit me. Well, I noticed that all of the first responders were from the third precinct, including yourself. And do you think it's possible that the real targets in each of the Trapper killings were actually the first responding officers? I suppose it's possible. Well, I'm not trying to accuse the cops of anything, and I know you were one of the responders too, so that's kind of why I was wondering if there might be something there, some grudge. You knew the other cops, right? Do you know if there's any reason to think that Finn might have targeted them? Honestly? I could think of a million reasons. I was in the third precinct, sure, but I got out of there as soon as I could. How do you mean? Place was a hellhole, at least back then. Drugs, bribes, you name it. 
those were not good guys. Still? A lot of it cleaned up pretty soon after the Trevor killings. Interesting. Okay, well, thank you. You've been very helpful, Detective Marnie. No problem. And call me Becky. Thank you, Becky. This is 125 at the 1016. Make an entry. 125 acknowledged. Caution advised. This is the police. Anyone here? Oh, dear God. Sir, can you hear me? 